welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy. I'm sorry that it's been so long since I posted a video. I do want to post videos on a more regular basis. I just get so busy with um, life and stuff. So, um, but I'm just so happy to bring this video to you today. So right now, um, I'm actually in Salt Lake City and I'm at the Close to My Heart um, Scrapbooking Convention. And I just wanted to show you a project that I was asked to make for um, the charity that we um, support. It's called Operation Smile. So what Operation Smile does is it helps young children who are born with a cleft palate to get the surgery that they need to repair their cleft palate and it's often families that can't afford the surgery. So for about $240 American, it um, one, in, one child can get the surgery done. So with Close to My Heart, we um, support this charity and we collect money um, through our sales, like through our customers, or you know, at events like this where we have auctions. And so basically this is an item that they asked to make, they asked me to make something for the auction. And I myself along with um, five other people were asked to make something for the auction. So this is what I made. So this is actually a Kaiser Craft Beyond the Page letter organizer. And so the way it works is you actually get sent all the pieces separately and they're just in their raw state. So you get, they're like wood. I, I guess it's like, I'm not sure what type of wood it is, but it's like wood. So they come kind of brown and raw and you have to, you have to actually prep them. You have to paint them. First you have to like prime them with gesso. Then you have to paint them. Then you have to mod podge your paper on. And there's all these different steps and it actually comes unassembled. So when you're done, you have to then assemble it, glue it all together. And then this is what you end up with. So I've done a few of these, actually two of these letter organizers before. And I'm gonna link below the videos, those videos, cause I showed them on my YouTube channel. And I also, in one of the videos, I actually show you from beginning to end how I prepped each, like each step, like each step that I took to actually assemble, to prep the pieces and assemble a project like this. So I'm gonna link that below, but today I'm actually just showing you the completed project. So, um, like I said, this is the letter opener. So if you go up above it, you can actually see how it goes quite, it's all the way down into the bottom so they can store their files or different things in there that they want. And then these two sections, like this section and this section are like shallower. So they can put like other things in there. These drawers actually pull out. And what I did is I decided to decorate the insides of the drawers just a little bit. Like there's Mod Podge paper down, but then I put a few of the stamps in there in the back, just for interest. Like when you open the drawers, it's like a little surprise so that you can see something. And then the bottom drawer is like the full length width of the box and then I just put it again another stamp kind of in the back of there so you can store all kinds of things in here that you want so this is using the new fundamental papers that are going to be in our next idea book so at convention we launch the next idea book that starts August 1st so when you're asked to make something for convention you get sent the products beforehand the brand new product and you make something with it before everyone else actually sees it. So it's um, quite secretive. You can't share <laughs> um, the product or anything that you know about the new product that's coming out with anybody, just so that it's all a big surprise and it's a big reveal at convention, which is tomorrow. We're gonna get the new idea book tomorrow and find out all the new product. So um, basically, um, I wanted to decorate the sides. I wanted to decorate the whole box, so every side is actually decorated. So this is one of the stamp sets that it came. It was one of the new stamp sets that I got, so I wanted to use that on there. It's quite a large um, stamp, so I kind of wanted to use it on the side. And then I cut out these flowers and this, um, I, and this kind of piece using the new, um, well, our last Cricut cartridge called flower market so that actually came out last summer in the last idea book the current idea book that's running right now that actually expires at the end of July and so yeah I did this sort of frame and then the flowers were cut and then the, the um, 
the leaves are cut in there too. And then they sent me some of the new embellishments. This is actually glitter. I don't know if you can, over there you can kind of see it better. This is glitter. So I just coordinated it all. And then with these little um, beads, I actually got sent white ones and this new color called Bashful, but the Bashful is like a pink color and it, does, it didn't really work with this project because it was like a peachy pink color. So what I did is I took the Shin Han touch markers and I just colored them with the color that I want it to be. So in this case, I colored it with our purple marker. <laughs> and it actually worked out really well. And so I either colored the bashful ones or the, the white ones, and it worked out quite well. So for the back, um, I just, I felt like decorating the back. I don't know what the person who wins this auction is gonna use this for, but when I looked at the back, I just thought layout, because it's so large, it's like almost 12 by 12 on the back. So just in my mind, I was like, I need to do a layout on the back. So I did that so that they can add a picture back here. And then I just did the flower cluster back like at the bottom. And then this is actually one of the new stamp sets that I also got, the alphabet stamp set that has these letters and then you actually color them. I colored them with the Shin Han touch markers and then cut them out and then raised them on kind of foam um, foam tape so that it's kind of 3D there. So I did that and this um, this mat was actually cut with the Art Philosophy Close to My Heart Cricut cartridge. That was the first one that we ever had. I still love that one. It's probably one of my favorite ones. And then I did the side as well, this side. And again, this is another one of the stamps. This is two separate stamps, but it came on in the same, same stamp set as the one on the other side. So I just stamped each word, like each of the stamps in different colors because they were kind of related to the theme of creativity. And I like the fact that this box has a lot of words that I would like, I think of when I'm you know creating with any of the projects that I'm making. So beauty, I love to make, I'm, I tend to be the type of person that loves to make kind of beautiful, shimmery, sparkly, like pretty colors kind of scrapbooker. So I love that. And then on the front, I did the word inspire. And um, I don't know, that was just, I just like that word. So it's again, with my scrapbooking, I like to inspire other people to sort of, you know, think outside the box in their creativity and do things that like, are meaningful to them so there's the word spire and then these the word grow and dream came with some of the embellishments that I got sent so I just thought again it works with different word themes on the box so I put those on there and the word sparkle also came with in one of the embellishment sets and then this is a this is one of the things I got in the embellishment sets and then I just use two of them side by side so there's actually a seam there and then I put paper behind it so the hearts were could stand out better on the purple paper and then I also one of the new papers that we got or we're, we'll be getting in the next idea book is actually this silver like sheets of silver kind of paper which is really cool so I wanted to put that on the front and then I just put beads randomly along like the whole um, frame basically of the um, letter opener or letter organizer sorry so when I did this project I sort of had the vision that I didn't want to just put the project out like this I wanted to decorate it like just for display so that when it's displayed tomorrow in or Saturday at convention and people see it and they, then they want to um, kind of make bids on the auction I just wanted it to be kind of displayed so I decided to make some flowers um, this is a sample. I decided to just make some of these flowers with the flower market Cricut cartridge with Close to My Heart. And there's all kinds of flowers that you can make and layer them up. So fun. It was such a, this was such a fun project. So I'm just going to show you the flowers now that I made and then how I set them into the um, letter organizer and how it's going to be displayed. Okay, so this is basically <laughs> all the flowers I want. So I, I, my vision was to have this huge bouquet of flowers just popping out the top of the box. So what I did is I just got some of this, I don't know what you call this, this foam. I got it from the flower section at Michael's. And then I just wanted to, and then the um, floral sticks here. And I just wanted to like alter them and display it in a big bouquet so that I can put it in the box. So this is what it looks like before it's actually in the box and then I'll show you it in the box. Okay, so this is what it looks like and basically I just wanted to use it um, to display the letter organizer. Um, 
you know, in the where they're going to display all of the artwork that the Operation Small presenters made. So it just comes right out. Like it just, you know, I just sort of set it in there. It just it just sort of slides right out. It's just sitting in there, but it just creates. There's enough flowers that it just stops where I wanted to stop, and that's what it is. So. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to check out the other videos on how to make one of these projects. They're so fun. They make amazing gifts and they're just, I don't know, this is totally the type of artwork that I like to do. I like to do 3D items and I really enjoy making these um, projects. So check out the video because I do give you some tips um, all along the way on how to, for each phase of this type of project and what you need to be mindful of when you make it. And so be sure to check out those videos below and thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and until next time, happy crafting. Thanks. Bye-bye.